this is exciting here at DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, Herb Dean, our referee right. for this one, just about right. to get underway. Good. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training. And I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. So unable to connect on the uppercut. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Oh, how good is that kick? As we would say in Boston, that right hand is a bomb. And it lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Turn it around. Look at how we turned his hip into that leg. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Nice work. Slips to avoid that left. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Nasty body kick downstairs. Clean left punch followed by the right. Nice jab by Lee. Nice movement punch. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Going to the body now with that hook shot, nicely done by Lee. to the jab now. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. And he comes through with a big knee. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques 
that are making their way to the UFC's office. Clean punch right there. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. Lands to the body. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Nice jab there by Lee. Left hook to the head. Takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Another nice kick there, solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Ooh, side kick, well timed there. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Solid kick lands here. Nice block. Punch went no way. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready? You ready? Go. All right. Round two. All right, folks, here we go with our next round. And in terms of his output and his efficiency with his significant strikes in the previous round, you can argue that was the best five-minute stretch of his UFC career. Oh, absolutely the best five minutes he has ever had. He was in a zone. Everything he threw was just landing and landing with vicious intent. He's got to feel confident as he gets off the stool for the beginning of this round. Points on that one. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. Nice punch to the head. Another strike to the head land. Look at the whip action that comes from this throw that kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, beautiful jab there by Lee. Ooh, pretty good uppercut. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Please note there as he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to prepare the battle. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh! Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. 
Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage and neither seems to bother by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt, both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Trying to establish that jab once again. Ninety seconds to go in the round. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body, man. I wish I was in total. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, it seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue down the path and make the ringside position come in here to try to stop this fight. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Lead kick landed there by Lee. Seconds winding down in round two. Two rounds in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. There's the kick, it's blocked. Oh, a nice straight there by Lee. Huge oh, shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. That was a massive high kick. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever. And I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. And that one certainly found the target. Oh! He's in trouble. Oh, my goodness. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Lee's really taking aim at that cut right now. Hard to blame him, right? They might even call in the ringside position. He is continuing to target that area. Oh, 
his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Lands a nice jab there. Oh, big Superman punch there. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating. Attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Yeah, we have seen that time and time again. Start a mixed martial arts. People throw leg kicks. Right now, you can see him digging his shin into this guy's thigh. Nice hook there by Lee. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. I'm not even sure what I'm watching right now. He doesn't seem to respect those high leg <laughs> Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Oh, nice body shot. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the taker. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Well, the cut men have done everything that they can tonight, but these guys are handing out facials. This is crazy. Yeah, these guys are going after it, man. Both of them. Both inflicting damage on each other. And both are dealing with it and trying to... All right, so the referee, yes, is going to step in here. He will call on the doctor to look at that nose that is unrecognizable at this stage of the fight. His nose is broken. Yeah. I mean, it's turned sideways. The blood's pouring, going down into his mouth. It looks like he's having a very difficult time breathing. All right, so the doctor talking to the referee, and it looks as though the fight's going to continue. He's got to go for it now, though. That cut's not going to get any better. It is not going to get any better. Now he's got to take some chances. He's got to go out on his shield, and he's going to go out. Because if he gets to the next round, I'm not certain he'll get to go out again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Final seconds here. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel is the one that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. Well, what a war of attrition this fight has been. Both fighters dealing with cuts, critical damage in the facial area. Someone's got to give at some point. Yeah, these are the types of fights that we love. These guys are leaking everywhere. They're both trying to finish this fight. They're very evenly matched, and you can see it in the competition, but you can also see it in the damage that they're both showing. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Let's open up that cut more now. Just missed with the straight left hand. 
Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Lee's cut is getting worse. The cut man chopping up a bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Beautiful body kick. Huge kick lands again. His nose is all crooked. It's all beat up. It's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Landed a solid punch there. Right on the button. Attempt, but it's no good. He's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Beautiful body kick. Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Oh, nice. Great job landing that body kick. You can catch a body kick, but you gotta step off the side. You just can't take it clean. Oh man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. Hey, yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Nice shots landing from the top position. Great job being busy off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the box. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Oh, he is a bloody mess as another strike gets through right on that cut. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't play around here too long. No, you gotta either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Well, that is as bad a cut as we have seen in some time. You see the referee monitoring things closely. We might get a stop here soon. Yeah, he needs to monitor it. And, John, many times we are on the officials to stop the fight. This is one of those times where it needs to happen right now. He's got that jab working. Oh, oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. He lifted a little bit, tried to stay upright. But, man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Lee's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in it. Going round four of a possible five. Right idea, wrong execution. The left punch misses. Oh, that's a nice inside leg kick right there. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. him with the jab. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh! Nice, Lee's an absolutely bloody mess right now. Cutman knows he's got his work cut out for him between rounds. Oh. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. All right, so we're going to take a look back at some of the replays that caused all of this damage in that previous round. These guys were going back and forth, both throwing real heavy strikes that really did a lot of damage to their opponent. It's an evenly matched fight, but one of them has to separate themselves 
if they're going to get the victory. All right, so the cut men have done their work. Let us see who can survive as we get ready to start. What could be our final round here tonight? All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Oh, judges had to like that uppercut. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Relax, relax. He just hurt him with a left hook. Yep. Oh, and he found the target again. He's, he's limping now. Big shot to the head. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round. And, all right, so no surprise to see the referee call for the ringside physician. Going to come take a look at that damage more closely. So much damage, J.A. This fight is done. Crowd wants the fight to continue, and it looks as though it will, but maybe stylistically might have to change some things and get aggressive because that cut's not getting any better. That cut is only going to get worse. Every Stay time tight. you get hit in it, it Stay. just gets worse and worse. He's got to take some chances, try to end this fight right now. All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back underway. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the stool. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on his shield. That's exactly exactly what he's getting. He's getting a chance, and as a fighter, that's all you can ask for. And you know fans don't like doctor stoppages, so they are thrilled. They start booing. And sometimes guys' eye is hanging off the side huh. of his head. Well, that... Oh! Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It was amazing, John. It was amazing. We get the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, seven seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly thus far, few men have succeeded 